Hi everyone, my name is Lazetta AGB and welcome to my channel. Today I filmed a video um, going through the steps of my daily makeup application. I get asked a lot what products I use and what techniques I've learned. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Alright, let's get started. The first product I'm going to be using today is this a primer. Um, I've already moisturized, so I'm just smoothing this over um, all my trouble areas. It is a silicone-based primer, so I'm not using too much product, and I'm gently spreading it around. The next product is this foundation. I'm going to be a pump of this foundation with this brush. I do sheer thin layers of foundation over my face. I'll blend it out, and then I'll see what areas I feel I need more coverage, and then I'll build from there. I do wait till the very end to do my nose. Uh, I like to use the least amount of product there because it tends to break up during the day if I put too much foundation. So I'll just spread it over and then I'll, as you can see I'll just build up in certain areas. This process takes me about 20 minutes alone but of course I fast forward it for this video. But for me I just feel like if I want to take that extra time to get the really flawless complexion it's worth it. And I'll just keep blending. Next, I'm going to be taking this concealer to highlight certain areas of my face. Um, I like this concealer. I think that the texture and the coverage is really nice for this. So I just kind of draw those war lines and I just buff it out with a beauty blender. And of course, the purpose of this is to bring out certain features on your face that you want to emphasize. Um, I have a really round face, so I like to bring um, light to my eyes and my forehead um, and my chin. I don't do too much on my forehead because I do have a big forehead, so the contouring will come into place later to kind of narrow my face down. Best advice I can give you when doing complexion is to take your time blending. So now I'm going to be taking this setting powder and setting under my eyes. Um, this is done immediately after you do the concealer and you blend it out. I always start from the outer to the inner. I, this technique helps uh, your under your eye not crease as much and set with the powder beautifully. Um, I learned this from Manny MUA. Alright, so now I'm going to be taking this concealer and putting it over my eyelid. I'm using this as an eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to dab that in and blend it in gently. And then I'll be setting it um, with the same powder I was using for my under my eyes with a beauty blender. So I just make sure there's no creases. And then that just helps set it for when I'm ready to do my eyeshadow. Now I'll be taking this lip therapy and putting it on my lips just to help hydrate my lips while I'm doing my makeup for when I put any kind of lipstick later on. And now I'll be taking this uh, contouring palette. I'm gonna be using this uh, brush here just to kind of uh, warm up my face. And this is what I was talking about earlier. This uh, contouring essentially is just to help narrow your face in places that um, you wanna just sculpt. Um, I'm doing it on my, from my temple to midway down my cheek and then into my forehead. And this just kind of helps narrow my face since it is very round and just kind of give it more, I guess, dimension and uh, so I just kind of blend that in I take my time this process takes me about another 10 minutes but like I said I'm fast forwarding this for the sake of the video but it gives you an idea and I just uh, take this brush here and this helps um, kind of sculpt out my nose and just give it a little bit more of a of a narrow effect so again the key thing is blending just blending I know it takes a while and a lot of people don't have patience for it but um, on days that you really do want to get that fall is complexion and you don't want to have any harsh lines um, blending is your best friend um, you won't regret it I promise so um, I after I'm done doing this I'm gonna take well, let's do blush. So I'm going to take this palette. Um, I picked this up the other day. It's really cute. It has a blush in there. It's really pretty. So I'm going to apply that with this Kabuki brush. And it's it's a little harsh right there, so don't get scared. Um, I'm going to blend it out, and I'm going to tone it down. Um, I have really oily skin, so I use a lot of powder. So it actually does help me throughout the day kind of keep the oil under control. All right, so now I'm going to be taking the second blush. This is a really cute blush. I like putting this over my uh, matte blush so that it can provide like a little bit of a shimmer. But again, I am going to tone it down and blend it out. And now I'm going to be taking the Airspun powder. Um, this is what I'm going to be using to bake. Uh, I wouldn't recommend all these powders if you have dry skin. I do it. Like I said, it helps me. Uh, so I'm actually doing something that um, is going to prevent my oil later on. This helps sculpt your face and um, 
kind of set and lock all your makeup in place so yeah I look crazy <laughs> all right so now I'm going to be taking this Anastasia dip brow and just a regular little elf brush and I'm going to do my eyebrows I'm going to kind of just basically draw them in since I really don't have any and there's one eyebrow already on I'm going to work on this next one and I just pretty much every day I have uh, eyebrows are probably going to be what takes me the longest and what I haven't mastered yet. Um, I've been drawing in my eyebrows since I was 15, but I still feel like I haven't quite got it, the hang of it. Every day is different. I have good days and bad days, but basically what I do is I just draw out the outline and I draw them in uh, with this brush and just kind of hope for the best. So. Uh, don't forget eyebrows are sisters not twins everybody always says that but I couldn't agree more so I'm just gonna do my best to make them as even as possible and sculpt them and shape them properly and so the front of the eyebrows I personally like the squared off drawn in look I guess it's the the chola in me from back in the day that likes that but I try not to do it as harsh as I used to so and again blending is your best friend and um, eyebrows probably take me about 20 to 25 minutes daily so I just brush out the hairs and make sure everything's in place and um, now I'm gonna be carving out the eyebrows with this Kat Von D uh, concealer and this angle brush and I just kind of clean up the underneath the eyebrow and it also serves as a highlighting technique um, to lift up your brow bone I just sculpt it out and then I spread the product a little bit and just kind of blend it out and just you know kind of gives you a more lifted effect um, it's a really nice technique to do um, it just kind of makes it look like you had like Botox or something it's weird uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it to this eyebrow excuse my scar right there from an old eyebrow ring and let's see just kind of making sure they're nicely shaped um, and I'm just gonna blend that out make sure it's nice and you know even and then I'm gonna be um, after I do that I'm gonna take this uh, brush and blend out all that translucent powder into my skin and I'm gonna go ahead and go over that concealer so it can set that also as well so and I know it looks kind of rough in the video but I'm actually doing this really gently all right so next things let's see what's next eyebrows are on point let's do okay so this is my finishing powder I love this powder so much it kind of blends everything in together kind of giving you like a more I'm going to say flawless look, Photoshop type look. Um, I really like it. So now I'm going to be using my Jeffree uh, Skin Frost. I'm going to wet the brush. We'll spray it with this um, setting spray. And then I'm going to dip into it. And this just gives you a more magnetic metal type uh, highlight. I like using uh, highlights wet uh, or powdered. It doesn't matter. But I just feel like this gives you more of a glazed donut type look to it. Um, in which a lot of people like so and then I just do the tip of my nose uh, really really fast and um, kind of just place all that and then I will spray um, the locket setting spray just to just kind of hold all these powders in together now I'm gonna be taking this nude brick from physicians formula this I'm gonna be using it with the same brush and just kind of going over the skin frost I really like both of these uh, highlighters together and then I just take that clean uh, brush that we used earlier for the translucent powder and just blend in everything in together. All right, so now back to the dropout beauty book. I'm going to start doing my eyeshadow here. Um, the colors, I'm not really sure all the names, but they're pretty self-explanatory if you were to come across the book or find similar shades. And again, eyeshadow, the best advice I can give anyone is blending. Um, every time I pick up product, I pick up a little bit at a time. And I always start with a translucent um, powder over, like y'all saw me do earlier, and then I'll go in with transition colors, uh, which is light to dark. Um, I pick the lightest colors closer to my skin tone, and then I build from there. I do go back and forth from as as the colors are getting darker that I start using, like on the outer um, corners of my eye. I will go back into the original transition color that I laid out uh, initially. And then use that to keep blending just to give that more um, unified look, I guess you could say. And then, um, so yeah, I just start blending and then I'll 
this is just a real simple eye look um if you guys want to see something more elaborate or like a smoky eye or something with glitter um please comment below and i'll do that and i'll do a video just specifically on eye makeup but this is just like my everyday uh quick um i'm gonna go run errands or something and i just have an hour to do my makeup so i'll just do this and i'll blend um i will switch uh brushes and i use probably about three or four different brushes to do my eyeshadow if it's a simple look this one um helps me concentrate like on the outer corners and again i just pick up a little bit of product at a time it it definitely um works better that way because if i pick up too much product it's going to be so much harder for me to blend it out and and then it's just going to be like a just a big mess. So I'll just take my time and blend it and and I'll do um, all the lighter shades. So now I'm, I'm going to start doing uh, a little bit of more of the darker shade. And as you can see, um, I'm just still kind of just blending gently and try to just focus on the outer corner. I don't want to spread it too far to the front because then it'll kind of give me too much of a smoky eye effect and that's not really what I'm going for for during the day. And so I just blend in that darker color on the outer and I just kind of follow my, my own natural hood of the eye. And I do back and forth motions um, and, I, and then I kind of just uh, cir do circular motions right in the, the outer corner. You see, as you can see right there. And I just spread the product around. So this process takes me probably about, for a full eye makeup, probably about 20 minutes. Um, it might seem a lot uh, for a lot of people, but also I am kind of, like I said, I'm emphasizing on the blending. Um, and that's, that's if you want to go a little bit more like flawless or more elaborate on your makeup then then this would be the best uh techniques that i could recommend to you if i'm doing really really fast makeup and i'm like okay i need to be out the door in 15 minutes what i'll do is i'll just get like wet eyeshadow or a cream eyeshadow and just put it on my lid but all right so back to this look here um i'm gonna use a flat tapered uh brush and just kind of emphasize the outer corner of my eye and just darken it and nothing too crazy like i said this is a daytime look so i don't want to go uh, too dark but i just blend it upward and then blend it towards the front of the eye and um these brushes are really nice they're um some are from sephora and some are from bodyography and i love them so much and i'm going to go back to that original transition color and just blend everything in together and just make it as unified as i possibly can and then i just sweep off any excess and that's another thing too if you pick up a little bit of product at a time you won't have too much fallout all right now i'm going to do the bottom um lash line and i'm just going to take the colors i i you didn't see it on camera but i actually wet sprayed the brush a little bit to moisten it because that incentivizes the color so um my camera didn't capture that but i did spray it the way i sprayed that highlight brush earlier and so that's why the color is coming out a little bit darker uh because if i hadn't it would be actually way lighter than that so um the brush is actually um damp in there when i'm uh dipping into the eyeshadows you can do that to any eyeshadow you can use any eyeshadow wet it actually intensifies the pigment but i would check first just to make sure that it's not a baked eyeshadow because a baked eyeshadow uh, you might ruin it if you do that. So, but as far as all the other ones, the uh, pigments and the uh, regular powder eyeshadows, those are the ones that are ideal to do that. All right, so I'm just gonna keep blending that, and I'm almost done here. I think it looks pretty good, and uh, it's blended in nicely. So, all right, and now I'm trying to start doing. Um, well, I'm gonna sweep away all the any excess I might have fallen out. And then I'm going to start doing the waterline. This is a nude pencil um, to open up the eyes. This is something I would do during the day. At nighttime or evening, I would probably do like a black to do more of a smoky eye. But I have little eyes, so I shouldn't even be doing black in the waterline, but I do it anyways. This is an eyeliner marker. This is my all-time favorite. Um, there's one eye already and I'm just gonna I'm not gonna show that hole because it takes too long But I use the first Stila eyeliner and I'm gonna use this uh, Bobbi Brown one And that's just because it's a glittered black so I just do it over But if you guys want to do a tutorial just on wing liner, let me know um, I'll do it just focusing on that So alright, eyeliner's um, point Now I'm gonna be doing 
mascara. This is my all-time favorite mascara. I personally don't really wear lashes because, to be honest, I haven't mastered putting them on. So I just don't mess with them right now. I, I'm still new to makeup. I've only been doing my makeup for like about a year. So I'm fairly new. I just recently started doing wing eyeliner. So I don't, you know, you know I just kind of want to master that because I haven't, I, I just take things one at a time so um i use two mascaras now the first one was the it cosmetics this one's gonna be the urban decay uh, mascara and i'm just spreading out my lashes and intensifying because i don't use false lashes so i want to make it as dramatic as possible so if you wear f false lashes i wouldn't necessarily do all this mascara you could probably just do one or two coats of any mascara you have on hand and this is a little tool that just helps separate uh, my eyelashes and kind of um, spread them out and um, because of all the mascara that I was just using and I really like this tool this is from Real Techniques it, it works really really nice but all right there you go that's the eye makeup right there now I'm going to be doing my lips this uh, lip pencil is one of my favorites it's from Bod Bodyography they're so creamy and I'm going to go ahead and just take my time draw my eyeline and then I'm going to color in my lips and the reason I'm doing this I usually don't do this I usually just outline my lips but the reason I'm doing this today is because the this liquid lipstick I'm using is actually really sheer and I like the way it looks layered over this um brown taupey color so um that's why I did this this time but usually I don't so I just like the way the combination of them look together I feel like um since the lip color is so sheer I think the lip liner underneath it makes it just a, its own unique color so there I just make sure I t I'm very patient when I do liquid lip because of the fact that if you mess up you can totally just kind of ruin the whole foundation and around your lips so I, I'm really really patient and careful when I'm applying liquid lipstick all right so just gonna touch it up again with the lip liner just make sure all the lines and there's no um all right guys so this is my final look and I'm gonna just do that setting spray again so here we are, here's the finished look. I hope I was able to teach you guys something maybe that you guys haven't um, seen before. Thank you for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye everyone.